2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Clippers taking on the Hornets. For the Clippers, they've imposed their will throughout this postseason. Only three losses to date. Hornets, Clippers, the NBA Finals continue. Family! Oh my goodness! As you can see, the bed is behind me and I'm still in D.C. I'm leaving to go home today, but I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and talk to y'all about what I needed to talk to you about. I'm not going to be able to do it right off. You already know what I got to say from the beginning. I am the only musician that is still gaming on 2K. And if I'm not the only one, then I'm the only one that works. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say this right here. I am, I'm happy this morning, man. I had an experience. Tip off has began. This is game two. I am about to get my revenge. Yes, the Clippers beat us the first game. If y'all been watching the series, Boston just won again. Game two. Game three will be here pretty soon. I am definitely going to turn up this game. I went and put on the old school jerseys, you feel me? I went and put on the Bobcats jerseys. You already know what I'm running from the get-go. Pick and roll. First shot. Ooh, good look. Nice, nice. Good ball movement. This game I also focused on. This is a bucket. This is a bucket. This, oh, that's tough. This game I focused on not being on turbo so much and just kind of locking on to what, give me that. That's up. come on, 2K. Absolutely a block. They're going to give the foul to Kawhi. Top of the game, we're not even tripping about it. I believe Kawhi is going to knock both of these down. But the whole scenario that I told you guys about that I'm in D.C., I leave in a bit. I actually got to head to the airport in just a second. And, um... I'm going to talk to y'all about it a little bit later on down in the video. Y'all want y'all to stick around because I want to tell y'all the experience. That's a bucket. <laughs> y'all know I went to rehearsal. Y'all know I went to practice to make sure I had my stuff together. This game, I went crazy. You feel me? And uh, But I want to talk to y'all about it. I, let's say the third quarter. Let's say the third quarter. Let's lock into the game first. But I definitely just had one of the most memorable experiences of my life. And something that I... I did not think I would ever experience. But back over. Norman Powell with the shot. Missed shot. Mellow ball with the rebound. Yes, sir. Let's go. Set him a nice ball. All ball pick. Come back. This is a bucket. Ah, oh, that's good. Kawhi pulled out on that. Good D. PG with the rebound. Nice move on Kawhi. Good steal. Ah. Oh. Nice. I seen Mason cutting down. That's why I was there. That's a good. That's a good D. Anytime they get up under you like that, they already gonna get the shot. It is what it is. It's the same thing that happened last game with me and PG. PG got up under me. Pause. Ah, tough pass. That's on me. I seen the cut. It was the right pass. I should have threw an alley. I'm over there though. Get over there. Good D. Ah. Ah, played off him again like I told y'all last game. One thing 2K will do is they will not reward you for playing off too far. Um, that's one of the key things that they put in this game this year because for so many for, for so many years, Cats would just play off. Oh, it's a bucket. It's a bucket. That's good. For so many years, Cats would just play off and um, basically just crowd the lane, and that's 2K's way of just kind of trying to stop that. They, um, they have it to where, like, if you play too far off, it's going to be like almost like a glitch. It's almost like your player is kind of stumbling to try to get back it's their effort in trying to make sure that you're not just going to be playing the lane get out there good d that you're not going to just be playing the lane clogging the lane just trying to play the lanes because that's what everybody was doing um 2k23 was just sitting in the lanes good d let's go my board ah oh, dag dag man mark williams always taking all my dag on boards dog nice that's a bucket mellow <laughs> that's a bucket let's go up one two minutes left in the first quarter everything is looking good right now Oh, that's tough. That's good D, and that's also a good shot. I've seen it. When he had LaMelo on his hip, I already knew what time it was. It's James Harden, dog. Off ball pick, you already know what we're doing. Utah Jazz style. Come off the pick. Come off of it. That's a bucket. I got my shot now. Buckets. Yes, sir. Let's go. Told you I'm turning up this game. Went back to the old school jersey on. I went to the Bobcats on. You see what I'm talking about? How many of y'all remember the Bobcats? Y'all remember when we was the Bobcats? They had to take a timeout because we up too. Y'all remember when we was the Bobcats? I, I hated that name. No disrespect to Bobcats. I got two cats, as y'all know. But the Bobcats, 
Nah, I didn't really like that name at all. You know what I'm saying? New Orleans was the, the Hornets at that time, and they had moved to New Orleans. But I'm so glad they came came back and made us the Hornets again because the culture of the Hornets is just you can't get away from that. Brandon doing good this year. Three point percentage is uh, the highest in uh, um, in the playoffs. But uh, yeah, that that Bobcast thing was terrible. Let's go, baby. My rebound over to Malcolm Brogdon. Let's get it. Get it back to me, Mal. There we go. Pump fake. I knew it. Uh, double pick. Let's see what happens after that. Come off of it. Uh, come back off. Nice. Come send me a pick, Malcolm. Oh, nice. 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 Oh, that's good D. I couldn't get around it. That's good D. Zubat. It's a very good D. I won't lie. LA definitely got hella defense. You know what I mean? Like, their defense is on point. Like I said, they are way deeper than us, Pauls, from their um, starters all the way to their bench. That's a nice fade. He hit that, too. I knew it. That was a nice fade. It was unexpected. Uh, tied up, 58 seconds left in the first quarter. I'm stupid excited for the third quarter to come around so I can tell y'all my experience. Look at my rookie. Nice. Good pass, boy. Oh, I should have shot that. No way it's a charge. I was about to say. That was a good pull up. Man, I was, I was about to be ticked out that was a charge. Get over. In my rook. All right, just give me the ball to me. Yep. Come set me a screen. Nice. 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 Oh, nice. Double screen. Buckets. Let's go. I told you. Miles should get six man of the year. He definitely should get six man of the year. If he does, I'm going to be highly surprised. Because, I mean, that's all he's been doing the whole year. And it ain't really nobody but us six. Obviously, we got some cats that's on the bench. But they ain't really. That's on my board. Let's go. Let's go. Get down court. I see Malcolm. Uh, nice. Okay. I'll hit the uh, uh, Miles. Come set me a screen. Okay. Good take, Miles. Wow. Zubak down there getting right. Pause. Dang, boy. He's down there holding down the paint. You feel me? They had him as, a, as starting center at one point, but now they got him coming off the bench for Miles Plumley. 13 seconds left in the first. Getting ready to head to the second. Right now we up three, but we looking good. Momentum is definitely our way. Picked by Zubak. Look deep. Let's go. First quarter down on to the second. We looking real good this game. It's my revenge. My shot is definitely a lot better this game. Let's go. Um, you know what I mean? Like, y'all already know, if y'all watched the last video, if y'all didn't, um, I'm going to have it linked at the end of this video where you can go and just watch where I went to the gym. Let's go. And let me take fuck it, dog. It's over now. I didn't find my shot. All I need to do is go find my shot. I told y'all. When I took them two weeks off, I was on the road. It was just like I lost my mechanics. But now I got my mechanics. It's over. They're not. It's, it's a wrap. That should have been a steal. Give me that. Let's go, boy. Good D, man. You already know who I'm pointing up to. Three points to the sky. You already know, Big G-O-D. Let's go, man. Man, I'm stupid excited to tell y'all about, about what's, what, what happened yesterday, man. Good D. Nice. Get around that. PG trying to drive. That's a nice pull up. Oh, he missed it, though. Let's go, Melo. Shift that ball up. Nice. Nice. All the way. All the way. Good. Good D. That's what it should have been the first game. They wouldn't give me nothing like that in the first game. And we was home. That's a bucket. Ah, dog. I'm thinking about switching my free throw, dog. Because this free throw sometimes, I really like it. But sometimes I just be feeling like, because I think I only got like a 75 free throw. Sometimes they just give me the nonsense because I got a 75. So there's no way they, I don't know. I don't know, man. This game. But 12 and 2 right now. 12 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Come on, 2K. What are you calling? That's crazy. And 50% uh, from the field right now. It's not the worst game in the world. Uh, let's go. Nice. Get over there. Good. Way to get, way to get back, Melo. Nice. See the pick? Ma. Ah. You see me coming. Pause. Ew. Gosh, man. They gave him two quick fouls back to back. Coach probably going to take him out. Let me see. Did he? No, he left him in. All right, let's go. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Let's go. Oh, good steal. Let's go, man. I told y'all. Revenge. To oh, my. Pushing the ball too fast. Give me that. Let's go. Give me that. Yup. See me in the. Oh, that's tough. Why would you. I was wide open in that corner. I see him down there. Good D. Good D. My boy. Oh, good shot, Norman. 
13, 18 our way. I don't understand why Seth took that shot. He gonna pick. Nice. Ooh, good look, Melo. Let's go. They gotta take a timeout. We up. Come on, baby. 13, 40, 50, 60, 7, 8, 9, 20. We up seven right now. We looking real, real good, actually. I'm excited. So y'all tell me, man, what's going on with the series, man? Who y'all got? Dallas or Boston, man? Because right now it's looking like Boston is a little bit too strong. I'm gonna be honest. If it was us, right now we would be Dallas and LA would be Boston. Because Boston is stupid stack right now. I'm not even gonna hold you. Boston is crazy stack. Oh, you mean that? I still got the block. They just gonna give it. Who's that on me? That's crazy. Boston is stupid stack, just like LA is right now. You know, they first lineup is crazy. Got great defense. You know, PG, Kawhi. Come on, dog. I mean, how does it get any better than that right there alone? And then coming off the bench, you got Russ. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Now they finally giving me my fouls. And then you got uh, James Harden, Norman Powell. I mean, come on, dog. They, 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 that's, that's, that's really what Boston got over Dallas right now. Next game is coming up in a couple of days. But, yeah, dog, like, I don't know, man. It's going to be tough because right now it's just Luka and Kyrie. Give me that. It's just Luka and Kyrie. And with that being the case, Kyrie is, like, having a tough time. Oh, my. I keep making bad passes, man. Oh, let's go. Good D, Melo. Good move. Ooh, good block, too. Come set me a screen. Y'all already know what it is. Good look. Is that a bucket? No, that's tough. That's a tough shot. Yep, get down. Oh, uh, I don't know what I was doing right there. Anyway, I don't know what I was thinking about right there. But it's going to be tough because Kyrie, man, everybody's locking up Kyrie. It's like, all right, let Luka score, lock up Kyrie. Almost like on, on some Jordan, like how they used to be with Jordan. Let Jordan score. Get through that. Come off the screen. Oh, it's going to be a double. I, I call for that ball so I can get off. Fade. Good move. Buckets. Let's go. Everybody's like, just let Luca score. Luca's going to score. And then, you know what I mean? But just shut down Kyrie because there's really nobody else on the squad. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't know if he's hurt or not. But I haven't seen. I think he got to be hurt. Let's go. Let's go. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. I know I didn't mean to do that. See, because I got limitless gold, a lot of the times from right there, which is kind of un <laughs> unrealistic. I don't know why I'd be thinking like that now that I'm looking at the playback. But... Because I got limitless goal, I'll be thinking that cat can take off from back there, pause. And no. <laughs> no, this jungle is at the top of the free throw line. But I'll be thinking it's going to kick in with limitless goal. You fit? That's a good shot. And it did not. So that's why I ended up doing that shot. 25-19. Uh, we up right now, minute 23 left, uh, minute 21 actually, in the second half, second quarter. And we're looking real good, though. <laughs> we're looking real good, though. Nobody's biting on the pump fake. Get around it. Not get around it. Let's go. That's a bucket. <laughs> we we moving and grooving, dog. We got our play schedule now. We know what's going on, and we feeling good out here, man. We got our vibes. We out here today, man. You know what I mean? Let's go. They had to take another timeout because we out here and we moving and grooving. I'm telling you, I, this is my revenge game. How many how many points I got right now? Let me see what I got. I already got 17 points. And we in the second second quarter. <laughs> <laughs> 17 points and we in the second quarter. That's what I'm trying to say to you, man. I had to turn up on them boys because the last game, I didn't have 17. I didn't have 19 until the third quarter. I think when I was coming out of the second quarter, I only had seven points. And y'all know, like I said, it was because I took them two weeks off. But now I'm bike. You see what I'm saying? Like my boy said out there in Florida. I'm bike. You understand what I'm talking about? And it's a different game, a different breed. Let's see what we're talking about. Jared Allen is gone, so none of that matters. We put them out. They gone. No, none of that matter anyway. You see what I'm talking about? Good D on me. I've been noticing that. Uh, I couldn't get down there. I was about to say. I've been noticing that standing in front of them like that, um, they tend to make more mistakes. And I never do that. A little bit more pressure. Oh. Oh, I could have shot that. Nice. Okay, Miles. Miles is sixth man of the year, dog. I don't care what nobody. Even if he don't get the award, to me, he is. I ain't seen nobody else come out the bench and do what Miles has been doing. From nowhere. Throughout the whole league. Good. Get around that. Come on, Kawhi. Kawhi's such a big guy, bro. It's tough to get around him. Plus, he's going to get the calls because he's a vet. 15, no, 29 seconds. 50, 11 seconds left on the shot clock. Get over there. Good D. Nice, come off that pick, step up. I'm, I got the help down low. 
Oh my! That's good D, bro. I don't care. That's good D, bro. That's great D. Good block. I think Mark got like three fouls now. They're probably about to take him out. Keeping him in. Yeah, the kid. Coach is keeping him in. I'm surprised. I, all right. Well, Mark has about three or four fouls now. I think I got one or two. We try to push the ball now. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let me tell y'all a secret too. So I found out how to draw fouls for the ones that don't know how to draw fouls. What you gotta do is you gotta let the layup complete. Put the layup, I know some people be like, yo, don't put the layup meter on, but that's the only way that you can get pro touch. So if you got pro touch goal, pro touch hall of fame, there's no purpose in having that if you're not gonna put the meter on, right? So put the meter on and what you do is, when you drive into the hole, you go full speed, you initiate the contact, but don't try to make the shot. If you try to release it early where you can, yo, Kawhi is just down there, big body in. Miles, I ain't gonna hold you. Hold on, I'll tell you about it in a second. Halftime is over. Once we come back, I'll tell you how to get those contacts. 32-24, we up. It's game time out here, yeah. So we looking good on to the second half. As I told y'all, I got something special to talk to y'all about, but hold on before I say that. Turn on your layup meter, right? Especially if you got pro touch. And what you need to do is don't try to complete the shot. Take the travel. Even if you go up and down, because what ends up happening is a bucket. Give me the ball. It's a bucket. I know that shot now. <laughs> Even if you get the travel, take the travel. You feel me? Reason. Two reasons. It's, it's, it's going to help you keep your, your uh, sh shot field goal percentage good right because you're not gonna take a crazy shot but second of all when you initiate that contact as he's trying he does it complete what ends up happening is 2k automatically kicks in that's they really got normal power out here like he liked that 2k ends up kicking in the foul because you didn't try to make the shot so that's what i've been doing like if i drive to the hole i just keep i just hold it hold down my, my left look here look here See what I'm saying? I even, I even held it there. I didn't even try to make the shot. You see how it went up to the green and then it bounced back down? I might be a little dark, y'all, but let me, I'm sorry, y'all, because it's the lighting. I don't have any lighting here. Um, so I'm doing the best that I can. But anyway, you see, you notice it just, it shot up and it shot back down. Yeah, the reason that is because I was holding that boy because I didn't figure it out. Oh, okay. Just hold it and 2K will kick in the foul so I can get those foul shots. Get over there. That's good D. Who, what, oh, I was about to say, I thought they called a foul on me. It was an off ball on Mason. So, the moment that I know I've been waiting for. So, y'all remember, you know, last video I told y'all, you know what I'm saying? I was in D.C. and I wanted to talk to y'all and let y'all, I wish I could tell y'all what it was and stuff like that. I went to the White House yesterday. <laughs> I went to the White House yesterday, man. And uh, I went there. Good shot, my boy. I went there to perform alongside Mr. Anthony Hamilton, big bro, and uh, it was himself and the Tones, my brothers, and we performed for, um, I think it was like, first of all, I'm terrible with what the events are, let's go, let's go, let's go, buckets, I'm terrible with remembering events and stuff like that, I just kind of show up, do what I'm supposed to do, go home, you know what I'm saying, but I do know it was either for the celebration of Juneteenth becoming a holiday or just the celebration of no my come on what we up to in so I ain't tripping or the celebration of the fact that Juneteenth has like become a holiday I might have just said the same thing I honestly don't know but it was something about Juneteenth <clears throat> right and um man everybody was there it was Aunt good shot boy it was Aunt ourselves charlie wilson patty labelle frankie beverly uh trombone shorty raheem devon um the night before i think like jodeci um kim like bruh it was a star Dang, these boys out here shooting they ain't making the game easy at all two minutes left it was a star studded event but even more than that it was just like yo you know, I've looked at, that's a good shot, I've looked at athletes after they win the Super Bowl go and be able to have that moment with the president, right? I've looked at um, 
artists. You know what I'm saying? Like even Beyonce, one of her most memorable moments is performing the national anthem at um at the White House. And I would always think as an artist, like, man, you know, that's kind of like the pinnacle. Cause if you really think about it, oh, yo, we on to the fourth quarter, y'all. So I, sorry, y'all, I was sitting here uh, talking and we are on to the fourth quarter. So fourth quarter, y'all already see what time it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. We beat we beat these guys really bad. So it's, it's really nothing, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, that's like the pinnacle to be honest. You know what I'm saying? like. Most uh, most times when you when you're an artist, you're trying to get a Grammy, right? If you're a secular artist, if you're a gospel artist, you're trying to get um, a Stella or a Dove, right? And then if you are an actor, you want to get the um, Oscar, right? Um, and the Tony, I believe. And if you really really trying to do it, then you want to get all of them, which is like Grammy, Oscar, Tony, um, and I can't forget the other one. Leave in the comments if you know the other one. Well, I, I'm I'm Grammy nominated. You know, I'm good shot, Melo. Melo was out here getting busy. I'm Grammy nominated once. Um, how you uh, tell me how you feeling, Anthony and us? Um, I'm stellar nominated um, three times actually as a producer, uh, co-producer, songwriter um, from the gospel side. Uh, I got two with um, a group. No, I'm two times nominated Stella, right? Two or is it three? Two times. One of the two. I know two times for sure. Both times with a group called the Gospel Legends. Um, one song, uh, well, they were nom nominated for um, Best Quartet Album of the Year, I believe. And then the other one was Best Quartet Song with uh, um, Rest and Easy. And uh, the album, I forget the name of the album, but I had two songs on that album. Just One Touch and... Uh, um, Just One Touch and... Um, that's what he done for me and uh but my point is oh i still got the bucket though. i remember that play um what i'm saying all that to say those are the two things that i've already accomplished and most artists you know what i'm saying that's what they want to accomplish and then the next thing will probably be two more things probably travel the world abroad god has blessed me to be able to do that i've been probably everywhere but like China or something like that, you know what I'm saying? In Japan, um, look down. What am I doing? I'm tripping, dog. I waited too late on that pass. That's my fault. That's my fault, Seth. And um, but I've been everywhere else. I've been to, I've been to everywhere, bro. Besides like Antarctica or something, or North Pole. You know, Canada, Alaska, uh, um, uh, Australia, Africa, uh, um, Paris, where me and my baby. I, I actually was doing going there on a show brought my baby out and proposed to my wife in paris got a ring from belgium um you know what i mean i'm not saying that to brag i'm saying this to like you know to get to the point and the whole point is the only thing after that is like perform at the white house like that's it like what and then after that it's like performing in the states nationwide i mean you know when you've done all of those things it's like then after that, you know, for a person like me, it's like just to really to to reach a certain financial space that I want to be in. Obviously, I'm not there right now. You know what I'm saying? But I cannot wait. You know, I got dreams. I got goals. I got aspirations. And I'm working my butt off, to be honest with you. I'm a hustler by nature. And um, I don't like to keep going back to this, but it's just so true and it's so real. The pandemic really kind of it just mentally messed with me, man. And I was at such a great place before the pandemic. Like I was... Uh, I was I was I was I was moving up that ladder and things were looking really really good and and the year of the pandemic oh my gosh like oh man I, I was gonna really be I had a lot of plans and after that year I had my but that's how things go so my point of saying all of this is like bro I, I went to the White House <laughs> I walked in the White House you know what I'm saying if y'all want that full video let me know in the comments I'll edit it up for you I got plenty of content I just got from my own personal memories but I'll put it in a video and I'll explain what was going on you know what I'm saying nice fade boy <laughs> let's go if y'all want that video but to get that video I need y'all to do me a favor I, I need I, I don't know if this depends on y'all. I'm still learning this YouTube thing or if this is like a YouTube algorithm thing. I don't know if YouTube is just not pushing me out or what, but I, I, I would like to get, let's just, let's just be realistic. Let's say 15 likes. If I get 15 likes on this video, I'll do a whole video on my White House experience, right? Oh, I tried it, boy. I tried it, boy. I tried it. But it'll be good. I was that much of the green window. 
But um, I'll do the whole video of that experience, bro, because it was an experience. And I got a lot of content in there. Um, I could have got more, you know what I'm saying, honestly, but I'm not really that person, bro. I, I be wanting to take in the moment and just have that moment. I don't come from the culture of having to show everything that you do. So this is so new to me and I'm getting used to it. You know, I've always been the later one to the bunch. But once I get there, I'm there and I'm coming, pause, you know what I'm saying? But it's just tough because I'm just not naturally that person. But I got enough content to where I know that's that's a nice put back that I can do something very nice for y'all to show y'all um, the experience that I had at the White House, man. I'm telling you, like, I don't know if, if they open the doors for you guys to be able to 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 go and like get that experience. Good pass, boy. Um, but if so, I think it's an experience that all people should have, right? No matter what you believe, no matter what you think about government, I don't like to get into political conversations because I'm not a politician, right? I think it takes a special person to do that type of stuff, but I am a realist and here's the real. Nobody's perfect. It's a very tough job to be in that space because you can't please everybody. And, uh, but at the end of the day, if you are an American, that is still a significant part of american history it's the white house it's the biggest space that we have that regulates and you know governs or partially governs <laughs> all depending on what you believe what happens in this nation and to be able to be there and see some of the people that have been there and see the history and know that my ancestors were the people that built that place and to be inside of it performing and doing what i love that, that, that memory is something that will stay with me forever. So, we just beat that as you, as you can see, you feel me? And I told y'all I was gonna tell y'all what it was. I couldn't tell you in that video, but I can tell you now. And I appreciate y'all. You already know what time it is on the game three. You feel me? You know I had to do a little negotiating. You feel what I'm talking about? They were talking about they want me to come to an event. I wanted to go ahead and push the limits. I done took the boys to the daggone championship, but this lets you know how they feel about me. I'll be honest with you, brother. This ain't awful. That's realistic. You mean to tell me you can't give me the bread? I done took this. So I said, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get this VC. You see what I'm talking about? I love y'all and I'm gonna check in. We'll be back. Game three on the way. You know, come on!